G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, late in a uh, Thursday afternoon here and this is a video I forgot to do for a viewer who has been having some serious problems with his 80 series and uh, this one's going to be about the location of fuel tanks and everything on the 80 specifically, the 1FZFE. Now, let's start off with the basics, fuel door, obviously fuel filler, this is your... Um, valve between your main and your sub now i'm going to get down on the ground here i'm going to try and show you what is what for those that are interested okay so up under here or up under there this if i can is sitting below my sub tank now my main tank if I can get under the car, is, oh, jeez, ah, okay, so that is my main tank there, right, that's my main 90 litre fuel tank, right, if I try and get out from underneath the car, here is the sub tank, so spare wheel sits below the sub tank, oh, Good grief. Okay. Well, now that I'm nicely filthy. Okay, so you've got the main tank here, sub tank at the back. There is a valve with this, about halfway down here, that switches between the main and the sub. Now, unless the fuel system has been modified on the petrol model, the typical way this is set up is the main sorry the sub fills the main okay in the diesel model they are two independent systems so it's like having a backup tank for your main tank you could use the analogy lpg and petrol okay so if you run lpg and petrol you have two independent fuel systems okay now, in the case of the diesel, you have two independent fuel systems, but in the petrol, it is one. So if your main tank is running low, right, and you've got a full 50 litres in the sub, in order to keep your motor running, you actually have to fill the main tank. Now, time between here and here for my car to pump over a full 50 litres is about five and a half minutes. It's a very slow pump, okay? However, as part of the pre-start system on these vehicles, and I only know this because mine does it all the time, <clears throat> when you start this car, okay, it will often send about 100 mils over from the sub to the main so that the computer knows that the sub pump is actually working, okay, as part of its pre-engine check or start check right so i've had this happen to me and i've heard this happen okay i've heard my my sub pump just quickly you know spin over a little bit as the engine starts to crank so basically in the petrol model um yes you have two fuel tanks but it's one fuel system it's not two independents Okay, so the, the main tank, as I said, is in here with the sub tank. I mean, you can't see it, but basically the sub tank is under me floor, pretty much. So there's the fuel system set up on the rear of the FZJ80. My somewhat very dirty FZJ. I've got to clean this. I've actually got to fix this. I know that's got to be fixed. Got a streamer out the back of the boot at the moment. That's interesting. I better get that in before Vic Pole clobber me. But that's how the fuel system works. Um, now it's Thomas who's got some serious problems with his 80 series. So normally what you can do is um, get someone to start cranking the car over and you'll hear the sub, sub pump sort of whir just very quickly. And sometimes what you find is it'll just pump a 100 mils of petrol all over. Now, 100 mils of petrol between here and here ain't going to do anything to both the um, dashboard indicator 
in the cluster and then your 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 overhead um, fuel gauge. So that's the fuel system set up on the rear of the 80. There is obviously um, overflow and bleed pipe between the two, okay? And what happens with this between filling up the two uh, systems, and I explained this in the other video, but I'll just go over it again. In the petrol model specifically, all right? Now, we're not talking about the diesel model here because I have a four and a half litre petrol motor, 50 litres there, 90 litres there. However, if you're at three quarters of a tank on the main and you try and pump from your sub tank, yeah, not going to happen. It will not do it. It will only fill the tank up to two thirds to about three quarters, depending on the accuracy of your float and how good, you know, the, um, how good your gauge is on your cluster, on your instrument cluster. In the case of my vehicle, um, if I'm at half a tank on the main, this will take it to around three quarters of a tank, give or take, okay? That's normally what happens with this vehicle. Now, obviously, it's going to be different between the 90, the 91, the 92, and so on all the way through to 1997, but that's how my vehicle works, all right? Remembering I've got the GXL update model, so basically um i'm gonna have 90 liters there 50 liters in the back but if i'm at half a tank on the main it's not going to pump 40 liters bank into the sub it'll only pump it to around two-thirds to three quarters of a of that 90 liter fuel tank so hopefully that helps you out helps out anyone else that's interested don't forget to stay tuned tonight for 7 p.m australian eastern daylight time the backyard it live stream conversations we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.